Hi, this is the 11th part of my Syslog NG tutorial. Last time we learned about message parsing using Syslog NG. Today we learn about enriching logic messages. You can enrich uh, uh, log messages using Syslog NG. Enriching in this case means that you can create additional name value pairs based on the message content. There are several ways how you can uh, enrich log messages using Syslog NG. The pattern DB parser cannot just parse out interesting information uh, from log messages, but can also uh, create additional name value pairs based on the message content. You can uh, add fields in the XML database that describe the content of the message. For example, you can mark any login related events as action equals login. And if the message is about an unsuc unsuccessful login, then status equals failure. The GIP parser can uh, find the geolocation of IP addresses. The software itself is freely available, but the database it, uh, it uses requires registration. It is no more distributed as part of Linux distributions. The origin imp implementation just returned the country and the longitude latitude information. The current implementation returns much more information in multiple languages. Geographical information uh, can help uh, to find anomalies, like a user logging in from two distant locations uh, at once. A probably less useful, but a lot more popular use of GIP is displaying the location of IP addresses on a map. It's mostly an eye candy for sea levels, but a spectacular map can help you to get extra funding for security as well. The add contextual data parser can add metadata to log messages from CSV files. For example, you can add a host role or a contact person to a log message. This way you can see the extra information already while browsing your log messages without needing an additional lookup. The additional information can also enable you to have more accurate alerts and dashboards. We have already seen earlier how to use login to send synthetic log messages to a network source. Here we extend the command line uh, we used previously by adding uh, file recording to the mix. The options uh, used here are minus e, minus i uh, for internet or network, minus capital S for TCT, minus d for do not parse, minus capital R path to file. Uh, read log messages from a file, and as usual at the end, the host and uh, the port number. Why do we uh, use do not parse op uh, the do not parse option here? For uh, the sample configuration, we want to send logs without the original date, so just the message part. The original date is not a, re a real problem here, but uh, will be a problem when we send uh, the logs to Elasticsearch. Working with IP tables logs is a nice way to get started uh, with message parsing. They follow the key equals value formatting and can easily be parsed by Syslog NG. Uh, then we can use the results of the parsing and find the geographical location of the source IP address. To avoid dupli duplicating the date part in the logs, we remove that part uh, before sending the, the logs uh, to Syslog NG using Loggan. Logan generates proper message headers based on the current date. The example configuration collects IP tables, logs over the network, parses them, and adds geographical information to source IP addresses using the GIP parser. Finally, it writes the resulting name value pairs to a JSON formatted file. Support for GIP is usually a separate uh, sub-package on uh, Linux systems. On FreeBSD, it's not part of the default package configuration, which means that you cannot use the package, uh, but have to compile syslogng from ports yourself. Note that uh, downloading the database from G uh, the, for the GIP parser is not scope of this tutorial. As usual, the uh, first few lines of the configuration deal uh, with local log messages. The interesting part comes afterwards. Uh, 
let's uh, follow the log statement at the end, as this is what connects all the building blocks together. The first line opens a TCP source on port 514. The next line uh, is where uh, things start to get interesting. It calls the key equals value parser uh, on incoming log messages, uh, prefix k, uh, kv uh, dot here means that the name of all resulting name value pairs will start with kv dot. Next, the GIP parser is called. It looks for the IP address in the uh, kv.source name value pair and stores the various uh, geographical information uh, in name value pairs under the GIP2 prefix. Finally, lo uh, log messages are written to a file using JSON formatting. You can find more information about the template functions uh, in the documentation. Here, I want to point uh, you to the Rekey operator, which removes the leading dot from the name value pairs. The leading dot is normally replaced uh, with an underscore by syslogng, but it has a, spe a special meaning in Elasticsearch. We also remove the date macro and include isodate, which is the name expected, uh, the which is uh, with the name expected uh, by uh, Elasticsearch. Finally. We add two line breaks for better readability. Of course, we will remove those when uh, we use the uh, same template uh, to send uh, logs to Elasticsearch. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment on YouTube or reach out to me uh, on Twitter or Mastodon.